Devices without the custom I.O. feature are known as fixed I.O. devices. The Blue 102, Blue 101, Blue 100, and Blue 50 are fixed I.O. devices. These devices are lower cost mainly because instead of having card slots, their local I.O. is built directly into their internal motherboard, which allows for a lower cost manufacturing process. They also cost less because they have reduced DSP compared to the custom I.O. devices, a simplified front panel, they're unable to run at sample rates higher than 48 kilohertz, and they rely solely on Blue Link for audio transport. However, it's important to know that these devices support a less capable version of Blue Link compared to any other Blue Link device on the market. It says 48 channels here because out of the 256 channels on the Blue Link network, these devices can only access channels 1 through 48. However, channels 49 through 256 still get passed through. Here's what that means. Let's say you have a mic connected to an analog input on a Blue 160. And you want that mic to get to a powered speaker which is connected to an analog output on a Blue 120. So you connect Blue Link out to Blue Link in. And let's say you assign the mic to Blue Link channel 200. This, of course, will work. The mic will get to the speaker, no problem. But now, let's say you place a Blue 100 midstream on the Blue Link daisy chain. This will still work. The mic will still get to the speaker. The Blue 100, even with its 48 channel restriction, will not prevent the mic from getting there because channels 49 and above are still getting passed through. The only limitation here is that the Blue 100 itself just wouldn't be able to receive and do anything with that mic signal, such as sending it to a powered speaker on one of its outputs. If you wanted the mic to be able to reach both speakers here, you'd simply need to reassign the mic signal to Blue Link channel 48 or lower. Please note that you cannot change this range to anything other than 1 through 48. For example, you cannot slide the range up to channels 3 through 50. It's always 1 through 48, so you should plan accordingly. So anyway, these four devices have identical DSP, 400 megahertz, and identical networked audio the 48-channel version of Blue Link. What sets them apart from one another is their I.O. count, AEC capability, and phone line connectivity. The Blue 50 has four analog mic line inputs and four analog line outputs. It has no AEC and no telephone hybrid. The Blue 50 is also uniquely a half-rack device which you can rack mount, desktop mount, or even surface mount to a wall or underneath a table. All mounting options are made possible using kits which come included with the Blue 50. Also unique to the Blue 50 is that you can power it using PoE Plus if you don't feel like powering it via an external power supply which also comes included. Lastly, the Blue 50 is fanless so it generates absolutely no ambient noise. Fanlessness is found on only three other SoundWeb London devices, the Blue Bib, the Blue Bob 1, and the Blue Bob 2. The Blue 100 has 12 analog mic line inputs and 8 line level outputs. It has no AEC and no telephone hybrid. The Blue 101 is the same as a Blue 100, except it also has internal DSP chips dedicated for 12 channels of AEC processing. These AEC dedicated DSP chips are separate from the standard DSP chips used for all other non-AEC processing. This ensures that you can build a normal, elaborate block diagram within a Blue 101 without having to worry about AEC quickly consuming all the available DSP resources within the device. The Blue 102 has 10 analog mic line inputs, 8 line level outputs, internal DSP chips dedicated for 8 channels of AEC processing, and also a telephone connection. It's important to note that the AEC implementation within the Blue 101 and Blue 102 is unique compared to the AEC card. When you go inside one of these two devices in the software, let's use a Blue 101 as an example, you'll see a processing object menu that you would not see in any other SoundWeb London device, conferencing. Here, you can drop in AEC as a processing object. This is a little different than the card-based AEC, because here the AEC processing is decoupled from any physical input. Although the Blue 101 and Blue 102 are lower cost devices, this is actually an advantage that they have over the custom I.O. devices. Here's why. 
If a mic is connected to one of the 12 analog inputs on the Blue 101, you obviously can AEC process it. This is the exact same thing as an AEC card. Because you're plugging a mic into an analog input, it's going through a preamp and an A to D converter, and then it's being split and sent to an AEC path and a dry path. But here's where the Blue 101 or Blue 102 AEC capability goes above and beyond the AEC card. If the mic is physically connected to some other Blue Link enabled device, such as a Blue 50, you could transmit that mic via Blue Link to the Blue 101, which could then AEC process the mic signal directly off Blue Link. So basically, if you're someone who does a lot of work related to teleconferencing or ambient noise compensation, you should make a mental note of the Blue 101 and Blue 102 because they are especially useful and low cost for those applications.